Hi YouTube, welcome back to the A Plus Show and today I am coming to do a small haul on some really really awesome items that I recently purchased so I'm going to go ahead and get started because you know I don't like the video to be too long. First item is a necklace from Forever 21. They have like really really cute statement pieces beauties and I got this one and I've got it tangled up and I probably have to take it off to work that out. But basically it's like flowers and some of them have regular like gold accents on it and then some of the one, other ones have like the diamond accent on it on the flower. So this was only $10.80 and I feel like Forever 21 is a good place to go get like real huge statement pieces for minimum cost because sometimes you can pay like $15, $16, $17 for a necklace like this and the majority of them at forever 21 are like under 13 dollars so it's a really really good price next item from forever 21 are these nice little shorts very very soft breathable material okay so these are <clears throat> some coral polyester shorts they were only $17.80. I like the fact that it comes with a little belt to go with it. And see these, <coughs> excuse me, you can kind of dress up. So if you have like a, a day party or something to attend, I feel like these would be perfect for something like that. They had these in also like a royal blue color. But I just went with the coral because I thought that number one, it would be easier to find something to match up with it. Number two, I felt like it went great with my skin complexion. You know, I don't like coral. I, like, I don't really like coral makeup, but sometimes coral fingernail polish. But I think coral is growing on me. Next thing I got were these clear gel insoles. I just was at Dollar Store picking up something, and I decided to try these. Hopefully, they will work. It um, protects and holds feet, holds feet in place, absorbs shock, and provides arch support. And you can wear them in all types of shoes. I had a friend one time, she wore something like this in like heels. You know, when you're at the club, you're going to be there for a while. And she said that they worked, so I decided to pick up a pair and try them out. And while we're talking about feet, I got these from Just Fab. This is a very trending style for this spring. Um, I love the shoes. They go great with many things. But I will say, these probably run true to size. I'm a seven and a half. I end up getting an eight, so they're a little loose on me. And being that you have to string them up, and although it has a zipper, you still have to string them up. They loosen up as you walk. So it, for me, I'm always having to retie them, and I think that um, it just looks better when it's kind of snug on your feet versus loose on your feet. But great shoe, very stylish, and you can wear it with almost anything. Absolutely love this. Real quick, I just got some midi rings from Charlotte Ruth. Um, they were like $5 for three different ones. So, love these. <coughs> Bam. Got me some more Retro City sunglasses. So, these I am going to do in a giveaway. So, make sure you stay tuned to my channel. Because there's another pair in this box. I'm going to give these away along with some other cool items. So, make sure you are a subscriber. Let me try these on. Not really my particular favorite frame style, but you know, I can get outside of the box and just wear it a few times and who knows, maybe it'll grow on me. But I just love the color. I love shades that are in this like color family range and I love the oversized lenses here. Just thought these was gorgeous. Retro City sunglasses, they always have like the bomb shape. Also from Forever 21, I got um, this Love and Beauty by Forever 21 Eyelash Curler. Love it because it has a pink handle. And this was only $3.80. So I'm thinking about getting another one of these and including it in the giveaway as well. Um, I've only used it like twice, but it worked really, really well. And you know, some of these you can pay like $10 for. I don't know, maybe... I don't know if it's good quality, bad quality, I don't know. If something happens to it real quick, I'll let you beauties know. But I absolutely love it. It worked fine. And I love the fact that it has a pink handle. Alright, next item is this L'Oreal Paris Youth Coat Texture Perfector Pore Vanisher. 
one of my co-workers she has been wearing this for a while and she said she has noticed results since she's been wearing it um it says smooth over entire face am and pm 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 um use alone or as the last step in your skincare routine well i can tell you this now i don't follow those directions i've probably been using this about a week I put it on only in the morning and I put it on before I put my primer on so I don't know if that's going to make a difference in the results that I see but I just thought it made more sense to apply it like first because I wanted it to work the most I don't know but um it hasn't made me like oily or anything like that but I do will tell you that I, I only use it in the morning and I put it on before my primer however today I mixed it in with my primer so who knows maybe that'll help but yeah you can get this from like CVS Walgreens probably Walmart and it's just a L'Oreal youth coat's pretty pricey though it was like at least $20 I think it might have been like more than $20 but then again I think it was only $20 but starting at $20 this so that's pretty high for a drugstore product so hopefully it will work next up I went to MAC of course I got 36 lashes these are like the bomb I love 36 lashes because not only are they natural looking but for me they go great with my skin tone because they have like brown lashes in them it's not all black I don't think any of them are black as I sit here and take a closer look at them no they're brown kind of like an ombre it's like it look like they start off black and then the rest of it is brown but they just look amazing on me um if anybody know of any dupes for 36 lashes in mac let me know because i will surely try them to save on the cost the good thing about it is these containers are part of the mac recycling program so um yeah i'm due to get me a free lipstick or eyeshadow or whatever pretty soon okay so mac had a new collection called the uh, Playland, play, playland, something like that. Collection. I got one item. Um, this is Happy Go Lucky. I am wearing it now. I think it's a beauty, beautiful color, amazing pigment. It went on like super smooth. It is a amplified lipstick, and this is it. So here. That's all you need, and look at how bold that color is. This is definitely for you beauties that are like not afraid to stand out, take risks, and just be bold and fabulous with your makeup. And on the bottom center of my lip, I put on this Mary Kay Pink Parfait, and it gave it like this like real soft ombre look. I don't know if the camera is picking up. Uh, you probably have to like maybe see me in person or have to get up close in the camera. I don't like getting up close in the camera. But yeah, these two are going to be a new favorite combination of mine. And again, that is Happy Go Lucky from MAC. I just love pink. So just look at that. This would be cute in a fingernail polish. Hmm. And my favorite pink parfait by Mary Kay. Okay, on top of that, you know they came out with the Perenza. Pro Windsor Schuler, Schooler, not sure if I'm saying that last word right, collection, beautiful packaging, as you know, anytime you have beautiful packaging, Mac amps up the price on the items, I'm not a blusher, I mean, I wear blush, like, pretty much every time I do my makeup, but I don't really tend to go heavy on the blush, and I don't really buy blushes, like, the blushes that I have, I've had for a while, and I have, you know, a nice little range of colors, but I fell in love with this. This one is Ocean City. So they had two come out in this collection. They had a pink ombre one and then they had an orangey ombre one. However, when I got this one home and I opened it up, as difficult as it is for me, I can never open stuff. And it has a mirror at the top. Love that. It looks pinkish. It looks like a nudish color here and pink here. But in the store, the one that they had on display looked more orange at the bottom, but I don't know. So I thought that maybe I had got the pink one by mistake, but the pink one is actually a whole lot more pink than this. 
And now that I have more light coming in, I do see that this is definitely the orange one. The, the, the pink one really looks more, way more pink than this. I love the color. I'm wearing it today on my cheeks. Was really excited to just like try it out. It really goes with nothing else that I have on, but I just want to try this out. And I love the way it like really stands out, but it's soft. And it's kind of corally looking. And it's soft. I absolutely love this. This is pretty pricey. This is pricey. This was $30 for this blush. But I kind of looked at it as, okay, you get like three blushes in one. You can use just like the nude part if you would like. You can use the color part at the bottom. Or you can swish them together and use them both. And get that ombre type color. See? Three in one. So, yeah. I definitely do not purchase blushes. But this one here, if you haven't got your hands on it, beauties, I suggest you go and get your hands on it. And I got like the last one in my area store. Whew, it was meant for me to have this. Okay, okay. Last thing, you know, MAC has Pro Longwear line and everybody loves it. Everybody wears it. You know, I see it on YouTube all the time. I've never worn Pro Longwear foundation in my life. I have like a lip gloss that I love. I love the concealer. And now I'm trying the foundation. They came out with this uh, Pro Longwear foundation in the compact. Um, maybe about two months ago. It has SPF 20. So I asked her associate, was it good for people with like oily skin? And she said, yeah, it goes on creamy and then it dries to like a powdery finish. She didn't lie. She told the truth. So this girl told the truth. You get a compact inside and I don't use that. When she tried it on me in the store, she used just a regular foundation brush. So that's what I've been using. It has a mirror at the top. And I am color nc45 so this is what it looks like it kind of reminds me of like studio tech i don't even know if mac still sells studio tech that was one of my first foundation from mac no second foundation from mac but um the consistency of it looks just like studio tech so when i put it on i just take my foundation brush and you only need a little bit she did say that you only need a little bit and i just take the foundation brush and i just Smooth it on my skin in little short strokes. Really, all you need is just a little bit in each little area of your face. Really, I love it. She said you can get like a 10 hour wear out of it. I haven't worn it that long. I've actually only worn it like three days, three different days, not three days in a row. I do wash my face at night, but I do love the finish. It's very natural looking and it does look matte it is definitely a keeper now i don't know how it does as far as like combating oil throughout the day or whatever like that and i'm holding out the uh, mirror <laughs> silly in the mirror because i love it i absolutely love the way it looks and i think this nc45 was a perfect color combination on me so when she put it on she kind of set it with the mineralized skin finish um I didn't set it with that. I just kind of put like my bronzer all over my face or whatever. I'm trying to figure out why you would need to set this with another powder because it, I guess because it's not a powder, even though it dries and looks like a powder. I don't know. But I don't know. You beauty set me what you do. Do you set it with a powder or do you just put it on and let that be it? So if you're looking for a foundation that is really going to give you a natural yet full coverage, definitely go to your local mat and try this i did want to try it because i love like the way my mary Kay foundation looks but after purchasing the pro long wear concealer and the pro long wear um lip gloss i was like i gotta try another pro long wear product like i'm kind of sold on the whole pro long wear line absolutely love it all right beauties that is it for my beauty haul thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel rate and comment and stay tuned i have a giveaway coming in the near future not sure when i'm kind of letting all my items get in here so i'm surprised some lucky beautiful person out there thank you for watching